Hello, YouTube. It's me, Nolly. Um, doing a video for DJTutor.com. Um, all right. So basically, my name is Nolly, or uh, well, I don't want to give out my real name. <laughs> I do things on the internet I shouldn't. So yeah, my name's Nolly. I live in uh, Texas. Um, hmm, I'm a newbie. Mm -hmm. I have yet to have a gig. Um, I've been practicing DJing for a little under six months now. Uh, first started really getting into it when I was, well, <laughs> first was interested in DJing since phew, I can remember. Probably since this one party I went to. And I saw the DJ, and it was, it was, it wasn't a wedding, it wasn't one of those cheesy kind of things, it was a party, <laughs> and there, he was playing some pretty good music, and I just looked at that DJ, and I was like, that's what I want to do, I was like eight, seven or eight, and I was, it just, I knew from that point on, I had to, I had to do something, um, been, hmm, <laughs> All the way up until about six months ago, I've just been looking at Guitar Center catalogs and stuff like that, trying to learn as much as I can without actually doing. Um, right now, I use a program called Mixmeister. Uh, I pirated it, and it's cracked, so it's not legal. Uh, none of the music I have on my computer is legal. Trust me, if I had the money and could afford to buy as much music as I wanted, I would. But I'm poor, and I want my music anyway. So, sorry if I offend you, or if I make you mad because I pirate, but it's just because I can't afford to do anything else. I don't make money off of it. I don't sell the songs. I don't make CDs for other people and sell them for $5 each. That was That's what I think is wrong. I think that me downloading it myself, that's, I have no problem with that, especially with the hard to find CD, as are most dance music records. Um, I have a couple of pieces of vinyl, I love vinyl, vinyl is the shit. I would love to DJ vinyl, but I don't have any turntables. Uh, I'm not really into the whole mobile DJ thing, but if I have to do it to get by, then I guess I have to do it. Um, I'm more into making a name for myself. I have high ambitions, and when I get something in my head, I do it. I don't second guess myself. I do it, and I usually do it pretty well, especially if I have passion. If I have a passion, I will go as far as my mind will take me. As far as I can, I'll take myself. I don't. You know what I mean. All mm. right. Well, I had made a video earlier of me doing a mix, and apparently I didn't push start capture, so I didn't get any of it. Um. So what I'm gonna do? See, I got my headphones. My mouth. Little Sony Dynamic Stereo headphones, MDR V6. They say Studio Monitor on the back of them. I thought that was cool. Uh, yeah, pretty good headphones. I love them. I, I use them for everything. I look like a weirdo walking down the street listening to my MP3 player with a pair of these on. I get laughed at, but I'm like, they sound they sound much better than the earbuds. I hate those. Yeah, I'm talking too much. Um, Mixmeister. It is not like a two-deck DJ kind of thing with crossfader, no. This is set up with a visual representation of the actual song itself. Like, it'll have the song out like that, and it'll have all the peaks and valleys of the song. And with those peaks and valleys, I can see where the beat is. I can see where events in the song are coming up. Uh, it, it allows me to make really cool transitions that I couldn't make just by DJing unless I had practiced a lot. Uh, <laughs> me practicing. I have I have a few. I have practiced on decks. I go to Guitar Center and like two or three times a week, and I use their equipment. Uh, anyway, let's get started. I gotta find a good first song. Uh, uh oh, the Styles. Styles.
styles of music, I forgot to mention that. I like drum and bass, most techno, hard style techno I love. Um, hmm. Anything hard, hard trance, hard house. Uh, I don't really like how I don't like the uh, funky stuff like you do, uh, Jonathan. Yet, but that's cool. I love it. It's, it's yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Play for me. No. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to mix in with in. Huh. That sounds like a good track. It's not what I was looking for. Where is my Sisto? I am a big fan of. There we go. I am going somehow work this song in. Ah. ah, stupid thing. Okay, hold on. New playlist. No. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I'm going to try to get this song. I love this song. It's Sesto Cento. It's an old, old techno song, mid early 90s. It is the theme from the movie A Clockwork Orange, which is a very good movie if you haven't seen it. Okay, anyway, uh, Mixmeister, it's, and you have, yeah, look it up, they have really good tutorials online at the Mixmeister site, it will show you how to work it, it's a very good program, I love it, it automatically beat matches songs for you, but sometimes it messes up, a lot of the times it messes up and you have to go in there and mark the measures to the beats yourself, it's, it's tedious, but it's well worth it, uh, reset perform position. Oh, what's the, what's, oh, I just learned something new. Control R is reset performance position. All right, well, it has a live button, which is the output stereo, and it has Q, which is my headphones. Uh, I have two sound cards, and you have to have two sound cards in order to do this. So, all right, well, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to try to go from hard style to uh, some trance. That's an interesting term. I like to make jumps. I did a mix that I put on YouTube. Uh, it starts off with Infected Mushroom and then it goes into Hard Style Techno. That was an interesting transition, let me tell you. Uh, I need to separate my music by genre. Badly. Ready? 
Well, okay. It sounded like a good transition, but no. Uh, maybe fade that in. At this point, I abandoned this song because it's fucked up. <laughs> and my foot's falling asleep. Wait, maybe... No, that's too far gone. I messed with it too much. That'll do. sounded horrible and I am running behind I have to find a song quick little bass sweep. I like that.
All right, I'm happy. I worked it in. Now we just listen. Oh, now I can mess with my effects stuff. Found this whole new panel of effects that I never knew existed. This camel space. Nice! I can't wait to have so much fucking fun with this. I hope everyone can hear this. It's the worst thing I ever done. I missed the father's fake puke at home. And then I went to this movie theater, hid the puke in my jacket, climbed up to the balcony, and then I dumped it over the side. I all the people in the audience, then... Then this was horrible. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. I never felt so bad in my entire life. And then I made a noise like this. I thought that would be a perfect place for filtered sleep. give an idea about what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking about about 200 different knobs. I don't know what they do yet. I just now found this thing. Uh, it was my transition.
fade that in and out. I don't want it to just start chopping. something with all these knobs on it instead of a fucking mouse. Yahoo Messenger. These are the more famous DJs, such as Diesel Boy, Tiesto, Irene. Uh, that's what I'm shooting for. Honestly, that's what I'm shooting for. I mean, I can't wait to get my hands on some decks. I just, it, oh, it just comes so naturally to me. I went to Guitar Center the first time I ever did ever DJed physically with my hands. This was after about two or three months of using this thing, you know, and and learning on the internet, watching a bunch of tutorials by different people, Sky High Artists, uh, Eliskins or Alaskans. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you DJ Tutor, uh, and just learning as much as I can. Uh, downloaded some videos, DJ Short T doing some tutor work and all that and it's helped me a lot. Uh, I go to Guitar Center that first day and I pop in my two CDs that I made from my mix. I made a mix on here, split it into two CDs and then just went for it. I didn't try to recreate my mix. <laughs> no. But uh, it just, I understood how everything should work and 
by the end of it, I had like eight or nine people watching me, and they clapped <laughs> for me, and oh, good God, that was the worst drug I could have ever taken, <laughs> was their approval, and I, ooh, I'm not big-headed, I know I'm not good, I'm not Tiesto, <laughs> at all, whatsoever, uh, but my ambitions are high, I... I want to go places with this, and I have ideas, and I'm not doing it for the fame, fuck the fame, fuck that, I'm doing it because those people get to do what they want to do, they get to have fun creating their art, I want to create art, I don't want to just play music for weddings, that, good god, that makes me cringe, I hate weddings. I absolutely hate weddings. I haven't been to one in 10 years, and I'm proud of it. Um, yeah. I, mm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm in the scene right now. <laughs> Here in Texas, we have a great dance scene. Uh, Afterlife is a great place to go. It's in Dallas. Look it up online, www.afterlifedallas.com. Then there's the Lizard Lounge, which is pretty famous. Uh, the, mig the big names go to Lizard Lounge, and then when there's not any big names, everybody goes to Afterlife, because it's more underground rave style club. Uh, have yet to actually go to a real rave. Aren't that many here in Texas. There's down Austin and Houston, but not up in North Texas. Um, Burning Man is somewhere I want to go. Oh, yeah. Anyway. My name's DJ Nolly. Hope you like my work and practice and enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>